Hello everyone, greetings to you all. My name is Sean Vandeveen and I'm so happy that you could uh, join me for another uh, astrology video. And uh, in this uh, session, I'm going to be talking about the uh, natal Aquarius rising uh, sign or uh, the Aquarius ascendant. What it's like for uh, somebody to have been born with this uh, placement in their astrological birth chart. Um, first of all, I would like to uh, inform you that uh, if you don't know what uh, a rising sign or the ascendant is, it's uh, the zodiac sign that was rising on the uh, eastern horizon at the uh, time of one's birth. It's a given. Um, it's the uh, mask that uh, other people uh, most uh, readily see. It's uh, how you uh, project yourself to the outer world. Um, now, with Aquarius rising, um, if uh, you were born with this um, ascendant, uh, you will most likely uh, come across as uh, being cool, aloof, detached. Um, you uh, typically go against the uh, norms of society. Um, you uh, love your uh, independent streak. Uh, you love your um, sense of individuality. Um, and for this, um, many other people may uh, consider you a weirdo. But um, you actually uh, take pride in that. You uh, actually like to uh, differenti differentiate yourself from uh, the rest of the crowd. Uh, you take pride in um, being uh, such an individual that uh, you care less about uh, what other uh, people think. Now, Aquarius is uh, ruled by uh, Uranus and Saturn. They're the two co-rulers. And to me, I find it very interesting that um, these uh, two planets rule the uh, sign of Aquarius because even though um, you have uh, Saturn, which uh, is a very uh, stable planet, um, it uh, has a lot of uh, karmic influence on one's uh, uh, development in life. And uh, on the other hand, you have uh, the planet Uranus, which uh, signifies rebellion, um, liber liberation, individuality. So I, I guess in a sense, when you um, combine these uh, two energies together, you'll have uh, someone who... Uh, is highly independent. Um, they uh, speak out against the uh, norms of society, yet uh, they're cool and uh, calm enough to um, understand uh, the truths that are um, prevalent in uh, the world. They uh, seek to um, uncover uh, any mystery that uh, is unknown to uh, the rest of us, and uh, they are more than willing to uh, probe into those secrets and uh, divulge the uh, truth of the of the situation. Now, um, as I like to do with uh, each uh, rising sign, I'll uh, describe all the uh, houses on the on their respective cusps. So, with the uh, first house or the ascendant that uh, represents uh, one's uh, physical appearance. Um, Aquarians can uh, come across as a cruel. Um, they may uh, have a cold appearance, yet um, they may uh, also at the same time exhibit a uh, quality that is uh, very friendly uh, to other people. Aquarius risings are uh, very friendly. They um, like to uh, get to know everybody, everybody on an impersonal level and uh, they uh, detach themselves as much as possible from uh, emotions and uh, judgment. And uh, Aquarius Risings can uh, often look striking in appearance and um, they can uh, they dress uh, either very uh, normal or very casual or uh, they can uh, dress it dress up in the most uh, zaniest uh, kinds of uh, costumes, um, such as uh, David Bowie. 
uh, he was in Aquarius rising. And um, with the uh, Pisces sitting on the uh, second house cusp, uh, Aquarius, Aquarius rising people uh, can uh, be very charitable and uh, compassionate when it uh, comes to their um, own finances. Uh, they uh, love to give to uh, charitable organizations, yet um, they uh, may have a, a more difficult time uh, holding on to their uh, personal uh, finances, uh, their wealth, because uh, they, they seem to be kind of impractical when it uh, comes to their uh, own um, managing their own uh, wealth. Um, they're uh, spinning it uh, freely uh, towards uh, humanitarian causes that uh, often they uh, become broke or uh, they become uh, um, drowned in debt. And um, that's just the uh, nature of the uh, Pisces of, in this second house. Since Pisces, uh, being a very uh, compassionate sign, uh, being very altruistic, um, Yes, so uh, with uh, Aries on the uh, third house cusp, Aquarius rising people uh, can be very uh, argumentative. They uh, can be very uh, combative in um, expressing and uh, defending their beliefs. And often at times they can uh, get into uh, heated arguments with um, other people. Uh, yet they... Um, have uh, the uh, passion and drive um, Ari with Aries uh, being ruled by Mars uh, and uh, the third house representing uh, the uh, sign of Gemini. Uh, they, uh, are, they can be uh, pretty um, outspoken uh, in uh, defending their uh, personal beliefs and um, yes, that's my take on that. And um, with Taurus sitting on the uh, fourth house cusp, Aquarius rising people uh, often like to um, adorn their uh, homes with uh, beautiful furniture. Um, they uh, love the uh, stability and uh, security of the uh, home environment. And um, they uh, would like to... Um, treat their uh, other family members with the uh, same level of uh, stability and uh, security as well. Um, they uh, truly uh, want to um, adorn their uh, dwellings with the uh, most beautiful, um, exquisite uh, furniture, tapestries, artwork, and um, they love uh, beauty in that regard. Now, with uh, Gemini sitting on the uh, fifth house cusp, um, Aquarius rising uh, people, when it comes to uh, romance and children, um, they're not the most um, passionate when it comes to these uh, affairs. Uh, they like to uh, gain pleasure uh, by uh, playing mind games and um, puzzles. They like to... Um, exude uh, their qualities of uh, geniusness and uh, intellectual uh, capacity. And um, when it comes to uh, dating, um, the Aquarius rising people uh, would like to uh, go out with uh, those who are at the uh, same uh, intellectual capacity as them. Uh, they don't have uh, the patience for uh, Anybody who uh, is not uh, quick-minded enough, um, who may appear uh, slow and, uh, their, in their eyes and uh, thoughts. Uh, and it's for this reason that uh, Aquarius Rising people need to uh, understand that um, every one of us uh, learns at a different pace. We all have uh, different approaches when it comes to uh, learning uh, new things. And um, I think just I think Aquarius rising uh, people need to uh, understand that more and uh, yes, but uh, on the other hand, they um, are quite uh, keen on uh, those puzzles and uh, games that uh, I was just mentioning. Now, with um, cancer sitting on the uh, sixth house cusp. 
When it comes to matters of uh, health and work, Aquarius rising people um, can get very emotional uh, whenever uh, they're uh, in a net, working a nine to five job that um, they don't like all that much. It's because Aquarius rising people love uh, freedom. Uh, they uh, yearn to be free. Um, they don't like to be uh, tied down by um, rules uh, implement, implemented from um, hierarchical uh, organizations such as uh, companies. But uh, if they do have to um, work in uh, a company like such as those, um, they uh, feel that their uh, emotion, their uh, needs are not being met. Uh, that um, and when it when it comes to their uh, personal health, they can get uh, they can uh, suffer from stomach aches, uh, headaches, um, especially if the uh, job that they're doing uh, is not uh, suitable for them. Um, and um, I also believe that uh, they have uh, the emotional need to. Um, take care of their uh, physical bodies and the only way to do that is to um, work uh, as a freelance agent. Um, it's important for Aquarius rising people to uh, look for uh, a job or a profession that to really uh, suits them so they're not uh, emotionally uh, distraught by uh, restrictions and rules and regulations. And so, with Leo sitting on the uh, seventh house cusp or the descendant, Aquarius rising people uh, tend to attract uh, partners who um, can be very uh, dominating, who can be uh, very uh, proud, regal, and uh, boastful. And um, Aquarius rising people, uh, however, don't let uh, their partner's domineering nature get to them. Uh, they want to make sure that uh, they uh, can enjoy the uh, same level of freedom uh, as uh, they uh, would if they were uh, li just living the uh, single life. And so, a lot of times, um, a lot of Aquarius rising people choose not to um, get involved in uh, romantic relationships because of their uh, strong desire for freedom. Yet, if uh, they were ever to settle down, they would uh, most likely be attracted to the uh, type who is uh, strong and uh, proud and um, knows how to um, exude uh, excellent leadership qualities. And with Virgo sitting on the uh, eighth house cusp, uh, the house of uh, death, uh, sex, and joint finances, um, Aquarius rising people uh, need to um, learn uh, quite a bit about uh, sexual matters uh, through uh, classes, through books um, as well. They uh, tend to um, explore uh, death uh, very uh, meticulously and um, they do uh, all the best that they can to uh, preserve their health and to um, and to slow down their uh, process of uh, aging uh, because I feel that uh, Aquarius rising people um, ultimately uh, fear death and they will do everything in their power to uh, take uh, great care of their health um, since Virgo rules health and um, just uh, do the do the best they can to um, avoid uh, falling ill and uh, eventually uh, dying. So, and uh, with Libra on the uh, ninth house cusp, uh, Aquarius rising people uh, often um, well, Libra is a uh, sign of uh, partnership and uh, romance and uh, social matters. So. In the ninth house, which deals with uh, philosophy and religion, um, Aquarius rising people have a strong sense of uh, justice when it comes to uh, religious matters 
and uh, philosophy. Um, they will uh, tolerate uh, uh, cultures from uh, every uh, from every part of this earth. They'll uh, understand the uh, perspectives of uh, all uh, religious teachings and uh, philosophical teachings, and um, they uh, often marry uh, partners who. Um, are of foreign birth or um, they uh, may uh, find a partner who um, they may be foreigners themselves and who have uh, moved to uh, a country uh, other than their uh, native uh, origin and uh, they may uh, end up uh, marrying uh, a native of uh, another country the other country that they've uh, moved to so that's that. Now, with Scorpio sitting on the uh, 10th house cusp, um, it, it's funny because uh, even though Aquarius rising people look very uh, friendly uh, on uh, the outside, on the inside, they have a, su such a powerful, intense desire to advance in society, to advance in careers. They want to... Um, exert uh, such an influence upon uh, society that they uh, often seek uh, positions of uh, power in uh, leadership. They could aspire to become uh, CEOs of a giant corporation. Um, they uh, may become, uh, they may uh, pursue uh, the uh, career path uh, to become uh, a president of an organization. Um, they uh, may have a relentless drive to uh, start their own business and uh, make it stand out in the community. And um, yes, and uh, with Sagittarius sitting on the 11th house cusp, Aquarius rising people um, aspire to uh, social organizations where they can uh, meet uh, like-minded individuals who are uh, just as highly educated and and um, philosophical as they are. Um, they uh, are able to expand um, their uh, social connections with the great ease and um, they will uh, often expand their knowledge through the through the uh, affiliation of uh, social organizations. And um, last but not least, with uh, Capricorn sitting on the uh, 12th house cusp of, a, of a higher uh, spirituality and uh, the unconscious mind, it's, once again, I see a contradiction because uh, Capricorn is uh, a uh, zodiac sign of uh, achievement and uh, recognition. And uh, it's also a, a conservative... Uh, sign too. So um, unconsciously Aquarius rising people may, uh, may be more uh, conservative than they would like to admit. Um, they're um, willing to work uh, long and hard to, um, to achieve uh, humanitarian goals and uh, they'll do it quite uh, ambitiously and um, they uh, Whenever uh, their um, aims are achieved, they like to um, gain uh, the uh, proper recognition that uh, they deserve, whether it's through uh, charitable organizations, um, community uh, service, or uh, general volunteer work. Um, that's where I believe uh, Aquarius Rising people can uh, really thrive through uh, any form of uh, humanitarian aid. Now, um, I do want to uh, point out the uh, tarot card that uh, best represents uh, this uh, rising sign is that of the star. Um, you can actually notice the uh, similarities between uh, this illustration and the symbol of uh, Aquarius, uh, the water bearer. Um, you, as you can see here, uh, you have this uh, illustration of this uh, lady 
who's uh, pouring water into uh, this pond. And uh, this pond represents uh, emotion. And she also has one, uh, she also has one foot uh, resting uh, in it. And she has the other foot uh, resting on the ground, which uh, represents stability. And you notice how uh, she's pouring uh, two cups on, uh, one on the water and uh, one onto the ground. And uh, she's not the type of person to um, follow conventional norms. Um, and as you can see here, excuse me, you can also see a star, uh, which uh, will allow her to uh, shine bright in uh, all of her uh, pursuits. And um, as I've mentioned, uh, the uh, symbol of Aquarius, the water bearer, uh, it's a, a depiction of a man uh, pouring water um, onto uh, the ground or into the water. And um, these um, illustrations both look uh, very uh, similar. Um, this the star uh, indicate is symbolizes uh, one has true talent, uh, one has uh, deep knowledge to um, go after they want and um, just uh, live out their dreams uh, in uh, success um, through fame. Um, yes, uh, they truly have the uh, magic to uh, shine like a star, to uh, be an influence upon uh, this world. So, and as well, um, celebrities born with uh, Aquarius rising include uh, Nicki Minaj, um, Matt Damon, uh, Russell Crowe, um, I think uh, Shakira, and um, yes, those are just a few that uh, I can name off the uh, top of my head. So um, just to summarize, uh, Aquarius Rising people, they're uh, very uh, unconventional. Um, they uh, may be uh, perceived as weird by uh, other members of the community. However, they uh, don't uh, care at all about uh, what others uh, think of them. Uh, they're uh, their own rebels in their own right. And um, they uh, are very friendly and um, they uh, like, like to uh, know uh, everybody uh, on an impersonal level and uh, they're quite uh, easy to get along with too. They like to uh, understand the uh, perspectives of uh, all people and um, they also believe that uh, even though they're um, part of the whole community at large, uh, they're also individualistic in their own right. So, yes. So, this has been my uh, take on the Aquarius Rising uh, sign. Um, I hope that you were satisfied with the uh, level of explanation presented to you. Uh, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe to my uh, channel. Um, I do thank you for watching. My name is uh, Sean Van Deveen, and I'll just close by saying uh, peace, much love, and namaste. Have a great day wherever you are. Uh, stay safe, be kind to one another, and uh, yes, take care. Bye.